of God. The emergence of this young girl. How did we get to hear about this young girl? How did this young girl come into the picture? Where did she come from? How did she fit in into the pattern of the story and chronicling of what was eventually going to be the exploit of the prophet? How did she get into the story? The Bible said that the Syrians had gone out by companies, people of God, and fought, and people of God, and took the girl captive. In other English, the girl is a product of warfare. She emerged in warfare. She showed up because of a battle. The reason why this girl entered Bible was so some people went to fight and they found the girl, brought the girl in what would seem like negativity led to the emergence of this young girl. Shabadi Karadasuya. I am not here to talk to a lot of people, but if you have fought a battle, if you are fighting one, the Lord said, I should let you know, I didn't bring the battles to mess you up. But I brought the battle to capacitate you for the answer that you are. Let me say this, Shabbat When you are an answer, Karosa, a generation will hope on you. But then again, the most important thing is that you must have been through a school that taught you the answer before you become the answer. And half of the time, the school of destiny that schools you on being an answer is warfare. Did you hear what I just said right now? So people of God, I may not like my battles, but I'm not cursing my battles. I may not like my battles, but I am not wishing them away. I may not like my battles, but I am not ashamed. Because there are mockers of destiny who all they want to know is where are you fighting a battle so that they can stand on their high horse and say, thank God I'm not like this guy. Thank God I am not I'm not fighting what the guy is fighting. Thank God you are not like me. But on the long run, you will understand that content is better than container. Do you understand what I am talking about? My battle is my content. My battle is the school of the spirit that I went through. My battle is where he taught me to dot the eyes and cross the T's. My battle is where he let me know he is the ever-present help in the time of trouble. My battle is where he assured me that weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. My battle is where he understood Jerry will not learn if everything is all right. So I need to introduce something that will make him sit down, become sober, and begin to reflect so that I can teach him all that he needs to learn. I no longer curse my battles. I pray them out. But if the Lord allows me to go through them, I will learn from it. Because I know eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered into the hearts of men what the Lord has prepared for them that love him somebody help me thunder a louder amen lift up your right and say I emerge that didn't sound like you understood the scream I emerge shout it again I emerge by warfare say I emerge by warfare say every warfare takes me forward every warfare builds me up every warfare every warfare aligns me to the fullness of my destiny say every warfare brings me closer to the next level of glory if you understood that thunder a louder amen take yourself for one second don't mock my scars they are signs that glory is about to be revealed and warrior don't hide your scars it is a sign that I've been through things and it's a sign that he will reward every scar am I communicating if you understood it, raise your right hand and scream it loud, amen. amen. If you understood it, can you scream another louder, amen? amen. Can you shout it louder, amen? amen? You know the reason why I'm saying this, because we're living in a generation where every message that is preached is hide your scars. 
Don't, don't let them know you've been through that. Don't ever let them know you've been through that. Kaya Marosia. The Bible said the reason for this so that I can comfort others with the comfort wherein I have been comforted. Shabali Baraha. And so Saki Barabaha. If you want to see my scars, I'm going to show you. Kibarabasaya. But the truth of it is that I value who he made me become by the reason of what I fought. Did you hear what I just said right now? Listen, how you will know men of destiny is not by the smooth ride they enjoy, but by the bumpiness on their part that builds them to who they are. Am I communicating? If you understood what I said, can you thunder a louder? Amen. And people of God, it becomes interesting. That the Bible begins to say that this small girl, obviously, uh, did not know who Naaman was. But from nowhere, he would have been sitting down. She would have been sitting down, serving the mistress. And all of a sudden, looks up and says, hey, hey. So a guy like this, that is so powerful, is even a leper. Hey. You know, because she's a captive, she had a choice to mock. You people, you people know how to carry pity. But you don't, you don't know how to cleanse yourself of leper. God will punish you. Did you hear what I just said right now? She had a choice to mock because she has seen, permit me to say, the nakedness. What Naaman hid from the public, she had seen it in the house. People of God, any man who will be an answer must treat people's nakedness like you want to solve it, not like it is a matter of gossip. Did you hear what I just said right now? You must understand that I am here. And I'm sure as soon as she saw, she could have sat down and said, hey, hey, please, so somebody have to get me a phone. Let me text my people and tell them what is going on. You need to hear. Life is not all that. Leave all these strengths. This one is even a leper. But she said, no. If God allowed me to see it, God brought me to solve it. <laughs> who, who am I talking to? If God allowed me to see it, God brought me to solve it. Can I say it for the last time? If God allowed me to see it, God brought me to solve it. And this is the mindset. People of God, I came to let you know, you know the reason why you are in that family? It's because you are the solution. There are days you look and say, why wasn't I born in a better family? Why wasn't I just born? Why didn't I just get married to a better man? Why am I, why is this woman my wife? Why did I get, why am I the mother of these children? You are their solution. And as your amen will thunder. Whatever it takes to bring a turnaround change to be the answer as your amen with on that decree, receive it right now. 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 Let your amen turn the louder. We the love us. Can you scream? I am the answer. Can you turn the I am the answer? Can you shout I am the answer? Can you turn the I am the answer? Can you scream it again? I am the answer. Take your seat. One second, let me ask you a question. Um, very useless pedestrian question, but very important for me. Where, where did they bring this girl from? Where did they bring this girl from? If you know, say it now. Yeah. Yeah. Is that where they brought her from? Eh? Eh? Some people are saying, Pastor, let me let me go and check that thing again. Be, 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 before, before I will carry the class on my head. Where did this girl, where, where did they bring her from? So she was brought from Israel, right? When she was telling um, her people or the mistress or the servants as they were, and say, excuse me, can my Lord 
go to the prophet where? Which is the global Israel. You understand what I'm saying? Now, people of God, does it strike you to know that there was warfare and this little girl was carried and some people were taken in captivity and the prophet was not taken into captivity? I need, I need to say it again so that you hear. I said it again and let me say it again. And the prophet was not taken into captivity. So, sir, there was war. Nobody carried you as a captive. You don't put the word in captivity. Something that shook a whole country. And the girl said, if you go, he's still there. And they went, actually. He was still there. Your adversary and adversity came. And you were still there. He didn't even come out to say hello to them. These are the people that literally shut down your country. People of God, nobody puts the word on that. The word puts destinies on that. And this was what the girl was saying. Say, sir, forget all the might. It is good to be strong, but it is better to be prophetic. So when a man combines strength with the prophetic, there is no way that he cannot be an answer. And he said, sir, you have strength, but right now, I've seen men of strength fail. Sir, you have strength. I've seen men of strength. Basha Badaha, not hit their target, not hit their deadline. I've seen men of strength not get there. So, sir, what you need to do now is to connect to the prophetic. And that in itself will give you the answer that you need. I know you know how to do your job. But can you be more prophetic this year? I know you know how to sign off. You know how to write beautiful proposal. But can it be said that before you started, you took five minutes to speak in tongues? I know that you have been involved in it. Can you turn everything? Can you be more God conscious than your skill conscious? Can you be more God conscious than your capacity conscious? Can you be more Holy Spirit oriented than you are career oriented? Shebendo Roso Tobala. You're stepping into the office. You're speaking in the Holy Ghost. You're about to make another call for your career. You speak in tongues first. You're about to send another email. Not because I want something, but because I want the atmosphere to be all about the prophetic. Am I communicating? Somebody lift up your right hand. Shout, say, I am prophetic. I need you to scream it like you believe it. Say, I am prophetic. Say, I call forth things and they become reality. If you understand it, can you turn it louder? Amen. Let your amen rise higher. Let your amen rise higher. Let your amen rise. People of God, I need you to understand. This girl, who was she brought to serve? Who did she give solution to? Who was she brought to serve? Who did she eventually give solution to? Can I say it again? Who was she brought to serve? Naaman's wife. Who did she eventually give solution? Naaman. People of God. Man gave her a responsibility. But she was actually bigger than this design that man gave her. She had capacity to bring a national solution not to serve madame in the kitchen. The reason why you are not yet the answer you ought to be because there's a cocoon the enemy has cocooned you into by reason of who you are. Because she's a little maid, what does she know? All she knows is to cut onions, cut tomato, bleach oil, do uh, whatever. Those are the things that you know how to do. So that's why we lock you up there. But as your amen will turn that because uh, some of you are already global answers. But you, you, you are cocooned by situations and con as your amen will turn that, I decree, break out by fire. The louder your amen, the quicker your answer. I say break out right now. 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 Let your amen turn the louder. And people of God, this was small girl. From speaking from Naaman, people of God, 
he went global. He went international. This king sent a letter to the other king and then communication because there was one girl that knew what others did not know. You know, this girl had a choice to enjoy the palace and just be happy that I am in where that man that the king respects, I'm in his house. I'm the one serving them. She had a choice to either enjoy that or find purpose in pleasure. It's easier to find purpose in pain because oftentimes when God brings pleasure, people are no longer focused. But God is saying, men, that will be the answers. Don't just find purpose in pain, but they also find purpose in pleasure. Lord, if you increase my finances, I will use it to serve you. Lord, if you make my life better, I will not be stupid. Lord, if you do, I will find purpose in pleasure. Am I communicating? It is not a confession. It's a state of the heart. Because some people have said it and they never became it. So, sir, if you've got to be the answer, you must find purpose even in your pleasure. 